Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Prison Architect. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back. It has been a while. It has been quite a while since we dove into Prison Architect. It's been a while since we chopped down a bunch of trees, and it's been a while since we were last here building the protective custody wing, which, if I remember right, and I'm trying to remember back a couple of weeks here at this point, but I believe, yes, we have one person in protective custody. Nathan White is 27 years old. He is an ex-prison guard. Let's have a little look at intelligence here. Right here, we have a strong snitch. Now, here's the thing with snitches, right? Here's the thing with snitches. They get stitches, but also, I'm debating whether or not the snitch should go into protective custody because the chances are, I guess if he's a known snitch, it's probably not a bad idea to say protective custody. So I think we're going to do that, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and activate all of my informants here whilst we're at it. I'm going to move the snitch into protective just because I think that's probably not a bad idea. That's probably something we're going to want to do to make sure he doesn't get stabbed, which we're certainly trying to avoid. Let me go ahead and just say dismantle a bunch of these trees as well. I haven't forgotten the tree dismantling, no sir. Absolutely need to keep on top of that and keep the money coming in. Other than that, though, I don't actually remember exactly what we were doing. I assume this was going to be a workshop based on the layout. Don't... I think this was probably... I assume this was like a large staff room, right? So I guess... Yeah, I would say staff room because it's got like secure doors, but then it has staff doors, so it looks a bit nicer. So I guess if we go to rooms here and we go to staff room, which I guess I'll search for... We can go ahead and do something like this and just get ourselves a nice staff room in there. It needs a wide sofa. It needs a drinks machine. It's going to need some lights. So let's just throw the lights in and around like this. And we'll just get a bunch of lights in there. Get some on this side as well. And that'll give us a bunch of lights for the space. I reckon we're going to want a nice large sofa. Actually, let's do a normal sofa down here with a wide sofa on. Let's actually just do this. Let's sort of just make like a, a big wall of couches. That seems like a pretty cool idea. Uh, then just like, I really want to do a wide TV in here, but I kind of can't. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get rid of you. And let's do a drinks machine in the middle there. So they can watch TV down here. They can have a chill time doing that. I think I'll go ahead and say that we can maybe do a little bit of brick wall there just to uh, almost enclose the TVs a little bit. We could go ahead and throw some arcade cabinets in here as well, which I think would be quite neat. Quite expensive arcade cabinets, but I think they're probably a good thing to have despite the, uh, the price of them. I'm also going to do this with a, another bit of brick wall just there, mostly because I can. So something a bit like that, just to, you know, split up the room a little bit, really. That's that's kind of where I'm at here. Uh, now, let's see. What else can we throw in here? Can I throw, like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, I don't know. I wanted to say coffee machine? But, I, I, is that a thing? I, I actually don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've seen, I'm, I'm thinking of two-point hospital is what I'm doing. I'm thinking of two-point hospital. Never mind me. Uh, let's throw a radio over here, and let's throw a... Oh, we need a pool table. I almost forgot about this. Uh, let's throw a pool table there and there. Let's get a few more wide sofas just so that we have, you know, some places to sit up that way. And I guess a couple of wide sofas there couldn't hurt with maybe another dr couple of drinks machines. Very expensive staff room, but I would imagine that's probably going to do us some good. I'm also thinking since this room down here was going to be a workshop, we can go ahead and say workshop just like that, which is going to need tables, which can go up here. 
I am thinking I'm going to do some tables down here as well, just because that actually seems like a pretty good idea and a good use of space. Uh, we are going to want workshop saws all down this side, workshop presses all down this side, and then I want carpenter tables in the middle. So that's the plan for all of that. But we'll go ahead and speed things up and get the uh, staff room here underway. Hopefully we can do that fairly quickly. But obviously, I mean, there's a lot of moving parts in this prison. We got to get all the doors opening. And I mean, that's kind of happening. But again, it's it's been a while for me. It's It's been a couple of weeks. I mean, it's been a couple of weeks since the last episode went out anyway. But it it has been a, uh, a little while since the <laughs> last episode. Uh, can I go ahead and lock that door open and lock that door open for a bit? That's just going to make my life a lot easier if I do that. Because it means these guys can all get in and build stuff easier. And, uh, I wonder... I mean... Can I... I'd really like to prioritize a bunch of stuff in there, but I, I think I'll just... Oh, there we go. I forgot how to prioritize things, I'll be honest. I totally drew a blank on it there. But I suppose the good news is... The protective custody guys are... Well, one of them's there. I don't know where the other one is. I actually don't know where the other one- There should be another one! Where is my other protective custody prisoner? So where are you going? You're going somewhere. Oh boy, this is, uh, this is interesting. Let me see here. So this doesn't show me anything. This shows me prisoners. So you are there, you are- Oh, they're both in protective custody. I just couldn't see the other one. That's alright. I also like that these guys are pulling the, uh, all this stuff for the, the new staff room from the storage areas in protective custody. But this is good. I mean, we have two people in here now, which is fantastic. Let's go back to intelligence and see what we got going on. There was apparently some kind of drug thing arranged down there a while ago. Interesting. We've got a bunch of tough guys. We got this guy's deadly. We don't have any... We don't have any ex-cops or ex-prison guards, though, so there's no real worries there. Uh, this staff room's actually up and running as well, which is beautiful. Getting all the games machines in, getting all the pool tables and the chairs and all that stuff. Got the TVs in as well, got some of the new walls. This is gonna look good. This is gonna look really good in there. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm also thinking that, uh, maybe... It'd be an idea to go in here, try and get ourselves some fairly quick money. Because I do want to get the workshop going, and I want to figure out how exactly we can uh, use the workshop. Because obviously, I don't think having Supermax in there is a good idea. So, I mean, let's take a little look-see here. So, workshop saw goes there. The workshop press goes there. We can get a couple of those in. Then the carpenter's tables, we can go one and two of those as well. We're also going to need lights in here. I actually sort of forgot about those. So let's go ahead and throw a bunch of lights into the room here. And uh, I've actually done those ones in the wrong place. Those are supposed to be there and there. And then all the way down through here. There we go. So that'll put some pretty good lights in there. This place is still slowly being worked on. Oh, we just got a bunch of new tasers, which threw us into the red. Oh my god, we have so many exports ready to go. That is ridiculous right there. That is all sorts of ridiculous. Good lord. Alright, well, I mean... The export money is definitely not bad. Definitely can't complain about that. It is, uh, it is doing wonders for us. Also, the staff room's actually done. It just needs a, uh, a nice floor in there, but that staff room, I think, is gonna do... That's gonna do some good things. That's definitely gonna do some good things, so we'll let them sort of carry on with that. Uh, I also think intelligence... Let me see. I just wanna have a look at sort of everything here. So this is contraband confiscated in the last 24 hours, which is... Some booze, some drugs, some weapons. Alright, so not too much. Last seven days have been interesting that 
there's a baton actually made its way into that cell block. That is interesting. It was apparently detected, though. But I guess it wasn't found. I guess there was no guard nearby. Okay. We've had scissors stolen from the library, which always get found uh, slash detected around those metal detectors. We've had chemicals detected and found around here. That's fine. We've had shears thrown over here. Interesting. Then traded in the laundry room. All right, so we're probably going to be adding a... We're probably going to be adding a few more items into here that are going to be not so good to have, but that's probably all right. Can we go ahead and prioritize all the work that needs done in there just to get everything in here? We kind of need the, the saws in here, and I'd like the carpenter things as well because... I'd really like to go to Regime, or rather Programs, because I want to get the Workshop Safety Induction started, and I want to get the Carpentry Apprenticeship started. We've got Death Row Appeals good to go. Behavioral, th behavioral Therapy is led by a psychologist in the office. I don't know if I want to do that. Pharmacological treatment of drug addiction is led by a doctor in an infirmary. Alcoholics group therapy is led by a psychiatrist, psychologist in a common room. Spiritual guidance is led by a spiritual leader in a chapel. We should get a chapel. We don't actually have one of those. We should absolutely get a chapel. Uh, now let's see here. I'm looking at programs. I want to look at my schedule because we need, yeah, we've got all this workshop stuff here. So, if someone wants to do foundation education, they can't do... Well, yeah, it's, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a little awkward, the, the scheduling there, but I think... I think that's just gonna have to be the way of it, unfortunately. But at least we have those things scheduled. It means that if anyone does become interested in working in the workshop, they can. Uh, interesting that the workshop is also getting way too many tables. Uh, let me dismantle some of these tables. And see if I can maybe get, you know, a few more in there. Are they seriously... They are bringing a lot of them in there. Good lord. Alright. Let's get a few tables done here. Let's get... I don't have the funds for more tables. That's interesting. Oh, you're working? Really? Oh, you're probably cleaning. That's fine. Alright, can we get this door open here, please? Guard, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. All right, so how's exports going? Very slowly. I feel like we might need more workers, honestly. I honestly feel like we might need more workers just to make sure everything actually gets done. I know that's kind of that's kind of nuts, really, considering how many of them we actually have, but I mean, let's go up to 100 if we can. We'll go up to 81 to start with and get them moving things around. We could go to here and say, you know, sell more trees just to uh, get a bit more money. But I think going up to a hundred workmen might be, uh, might actually be necessary here. It'll certainly help to get things done a lot quicker. So let's go. I mean, there's 90. And uh, you know what? Let's, let's leave it at 90 for the time being and just see what happens. So there we go, we got a couple more. My voice, my voice, man, it is shot right now. Uh, we got a couple more workers putting some stuff in there. That'll be good. I don't know why all of those logs are being moved in there, though. That is, that's not quite what I want to be doing, but sure. Uh, let's see, we have one in lockdown, reform through initiative. Do we only have two incident reports? Interesting. All right, we only have two grants at the minute, don't we? We should probably go have a look at some more. Because, I mean, we have cell block D, increase capacity to 200. I actually kind of want to do that. I'm not necessarily going to do it immediately, but I'd, I'd, like to, uh, I'd like to look at doing that at some point in the not-too-distant future, hopefully. Let's also go back to objects here. I want to get... 
a few more of these in here. Just to start filling the workshop up. It'd be really nice if we can get prisoners working in there a lot, though. That'd be fantastic. Oh, someone just got tased. This guy's got something on him as well. Uh, the prison's actually... Like, people are... They're not happy. There's 30 serious complaints. You know, people... What are you guys... So you guys need the toilet. Uh, some of you need sleep. Okay. Not sure why there's complaints about the toilet. I mean, you all have toilets in your cells. So to each their own, I suppose. I mean, you know, relax, guys. It's all right. Oh, my God. They are actually filling this room with logs. They are straight up filling this room with logs. That is ridiculous. Ay, yeah, yeah. All right. More power to them. Did we get new prisoners? I mean, prisoner boss. I mean, that, that would imply that we did get a new prisoner. I have no idea who, though. I mean, there's no one in death row currently, so... There's nothing down there. Interesting. Okay, fair enough. I mean... I guess we got... I guess we got something new. What are you doing down here? Are you waiting on... You are waiting on exports. Okay. All right, well, hopefully we can start moving a bunch of these logs out. We probably have the money to get up to a uh, hundred workmen. So there we go, a hundred workmen, a hundred guards. Uh, this is all actually being cleared out amazingly quickly, which is exactly what we want. So let's just keep dismantling. I actually, that looks like a graphical bug there. I think we might be breaking things a little bit. But uh, let's just continue with the, with the, the removal of all these trees. Let's just get all of them out of there and see what my hundred workers can really do. I'm kind of interested, actually, if I uh, if I prioritize all of that. So just prioritize all of the trees. Let's send a hundred workers over there to do that and uh, see what happens, I guess. We're going to have a lot of trucks backing up, which is not ideal, but that's okay. I mean, we can just see we can just see so many lights out there, so many flashlights. That is, uh... <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. And then they have to move all of it over to exports and uh, then go from there. So, good luck to them. Let's have a little look at intelligence again, just to be sure. You guys have pretty good coverage, so I'm going to just activate all of you. See what we can find out. Are you guys actually stuck there? Like, what is, what is going on with these guys here? They actually seem to be stuck. I think that's why they're complaining. Can I throw you in lockdown for a bit? Yeah. So if I update them and throw them in lockdown, that seems to fix it. They're not going to be happy about it, but they are actually just walking themselves to their cells, which is nice. Uh, anyone else stuck around here? It doesn't really look like it, which is nice. So I think we're doing okay on that front. Nothing to worry about. It's always delightful. Uh, now these rooms here, I honestly don't remember what they were. I really don't. So maybe this one could become a chapel. I mean, we don't have one yet, so... I mean, maybe that one could be a chapel of sorts. Although I'd kind of like to do the chapel somewhere a little more quiet. So let's have a little fun. Let's get ourselves some money. Let's, uh, let's just get ourselves, you know, all of the money. Literally all the money. So there we go, just all of that will probably do quite nicely. Uh, wow, they've actually cleared that area so quickly. That is a little bit nuts. Okay, uh, let's go to foundation then and let's see what we can do. So this is one, two, three, so we want to go four here. And then... Uh, one, two, three, four there. Alright, so construct that. That's gonna be fun. Uh, let's go here and do similar. Up to about there. And then I'd like to do something like this. So a 20 by... 12 room, I think, would be good on that. 
And then down here as well, obviously, for some more doors. As for a, a jail door, I think that can go... Oh, no, I need to remember what way the orientation works on these. I actually don't remember, so I'm just going to throw it this way. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, now, let's go ahead and prioritize all of that. Just every little bit of it. I imagine this will be done quite quickly with the... With the hundred workers. I can't imagine it taking a very long time to build all of this. Which is always good. Let's see here. Fill the capacity. Zero prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. That... That's... Well, that makes sense. That absolutely makes sense. Oh, wow. We are actually starting to clear all of this out, which is fantastic. I imagine this room over here is probably quite full. But I also imagine I can probably go ahead and afford to uh, put the rest of the tables in here. Which is very good news. And I guess... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that room is depressing to look at, man. <laughs> Oh, I don't like it. I'm also aware of the fact that with the garbage and with the uh, the stuff in this door, we are ever so slightly in a situation where prisoners can try to escape through there. Although that would imply that they... Oh my god, what are you guys doing? I might take the carpentry tables out of there. I might actually have to do that because that is... That's a mess. That is such a mess. I'm really not sure how to feel about it at all. I mean, it's it's awful. It's really, really awful. <laughs> oh, man. Tell you what, let's go to materials. Let's go to demolish walls and demolish all of that, please. Let's also prioritize it, because we actually do want to get the foundation in there properly. So let's hope that they actually, you know, do this. Now, that is also a bit of a security breach, but it looks like the wall's going in. It looks like it's another couple of little bits there, and it's done, so... I think, yeah, this is this has come together over here, which is good. That's come together. This bit needs one last little bit of construction. And then it'll be done as well, and then that can be the chapel. Which is out of the way and up a corridor, but also lets me expand up here a little bit if I want to. Which is going to be useful, I think. If someone would just build this bit, though, that'd be... That'd be swell. There we go. So the whole thing should... There we go. Get built. Alrighty. Materials. Brick wall. Let's just block that up. Block you up. Go to objects and get some jail doors in here. As well as uh, some door servos. So one there and one there. Then over here, I'm thinking just a regular door, right? It's a chapel. We don't want it to be too uh, overbearing. We don't, you know, I, I think just a normal door and that's probably okay. So let's see here. Let's go to rooms. Let's go to chapel and throw it in there. We need an altar. We need pews. We need a prayer mat as well. So the altar can go... I think there is kind of central. We're gonna get some pews in here as well. Which can be lined... Something like that, I think. So quite a lot of them. Quite a, uh, quite a lot of them. They're not the cheapest things in the world, but that's okay. And the prayer mats can go... Like this. And like this. Got a couple of them along there as well. And that should keep everybody happy. Now what else can we put in there? Not a whole lot else other than uh, some lights. Because those are actually going to be really, uh, really useful, actually. So there we go. That'll be the chapel. We... Are these door servos actually connected to anything? That one is. Okay. Uh, what is this? Door control system? All right. Connect you. Uh, I'm going to connect you to... You're actually having a pretty rough time on that. Yeah, you are You are having a tough time. 
Uh, but I'm going to connect you to those anyway, just because it helps stuff get done. As for utilities, we are powering a lot of this stuff off of that uh, power plant. So I guess we'll continue to do so. Run some cables like this and like this. And prioritize all of that. Uh, so that way, I believe, once the power goes in, the chapel is pretty much good to go. So let's have ourselves a little look here. Let's go to... Uh, what am I looking for? Regime? Policy? Needs? Grants? Programs? That's the one. Uh, so that is going to be... Spiritual Guidance. Each prisoner requires pews. Some have a specific need before joining, can hire externally, they will sit, it's repeatable, it's easy. So let's start that, edit the schedule, and we can actually run a few of these, which is nice. But I think we're going to do these right about here. And I think I'm going to move that, I'd like to move that parole hearing, to be honest. But that's, that's protective custody parole right there. We'll do spiritual guidance. What is that? 4 p.m., 5 p.m.? Do we have a time slot for that? In terms of deployment? Let's find out. Uh, so 4 and 5 is... This is actually very hard to see. I don't know how well those pop up in the video, but that's 4 and 5 right there. So I think what we do is just quite simply say that we are going to have two guards in there. And in terms of guard patrols, I mean, we have some going around there. Let's get a... Let's get a persistent guard patrol going sort of around here. So just a little something like that. I think maybe three guards on it, especially with the workshop there. And that should be okay. So that should work out. I mean, I guess we could probably get away with having guard patrols at different times of the day as well. So we'll do, we'll do that. We'll go for here and just have, I mean, I don't know what that is. We'll do that. We'll have one guard on it overnight. And then at this time, we'll do two as well. All right. So that should be fine. That'll just make sure the area is patrolled, is protected, is secure. And it should keep everybody happy. Now we've got $14,000 right now. Can I put wooden floors in here? 9,900. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Wooden floors in here first. They're super expensive. But I mean, it's the staff room, so... We kind of got to. We've kind of got to. I'm actually kind of keen, though. I'm kind of keen to see this whole, you know... This, this whole thing come together. I mean, it's something else for the prisoners to do. There's 23 of them that can do it. I'm just worried that it's going to be protective custody prisoners that are like, Hey, I want to go to the chapel. Because obviously they don't actually have one. So we'll see. Now let's see. Gang members, gang members. Actually, quite a few gang members. That's... That's actually a bit of a worry. I'm gonna be honest. That is a little bit of a worry right now. Because, I mean, we have a look here. If we look at logistics and look at gangs, we've got three members of the blue gang in this territory. We've got a member of the red and a member of the green. Uh, the other red members over here. So, I, I don't know why you're highlighted red like that, but... Yeah, that is... That is a little concerning. That these guys are all, you know, up here together. But I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's not going to come to anything. I mean, the prison's been relatively chill for a while anyway, so... I have to imagine it's going to stay that way. I really... I, I just don't... I don't see the prison exploding into violence anytime soon. I mean, I do want to bring in more prisoners, and I'm going to have to figure out how to do that, because obviously we've sort of built ourselves in here. So honestly, what we might end up having to do is buy another tile across the road and build another prison over there. Which would be interesting, because then what we could maybe do is turn this into, like, one uh, maximum security thing and then put supermax across the road or something like that. 
Or maybe we do... Oh, what if we did a minimum security prison? Because that's a thing, isn't it? If we look at uh, intake. Yeah, minimum security. We don't actually bring minimum security in. So what if we had like just a, a minimum security prison over here? I mean, we could technically have it back here, which would be kind of neat, but I don't know. Oh my God. That's a hundred workers. <laughs> that is, uh, that is all sorts of crazy right there. I think we could do that. If we get the money for it, we can get a minimum security prison over there. Also, I got to try something here. If I say sell all of these, how much money am I looking at? One row is 13,800. So just doing this gives me $33,900. That is, that is so much money. That is so much money. $50,000 right now. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, let me just go and say dismantle a bunch more trees. Just uh, up and down the map. We're just going to dismantle trees because I need about $80,000 anyway to buy another map tile, which I'd really like to do. I think, I think, a, uh, I think a minimum security prison would be quite cool. Because again, it means if they do something dumb, they get moved across, like they get thrown out of minimum security right away. They get thrown across the road into uh, normal or maximum or super max or whatever. I mean, it does mean we're building a whole nother prison again. And we did just build protective custody, but that seems really cool to me. I think that's neat. I think that'll be really cool. I also want to see the chapel up and running today. Now, where are you going? Interesting. So during their free time, they might go to the chapel. Right. Well then, deployment guards uh, during free time, go to the chapel. Definitely going to need some guards over there ASAP. Oh, there's a lot of them going over there. That's bad news. All right, hold on a minute. Deployment, guard patrols. Let's get a, get a couple more on that. There we go. So yeah, they are, they're doing all right in there. They're, they're doing okay. I think what I'd like to do is maybe a guard patrol around in here as well. Just sort of around the, the edges of the room might be an idea. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four guards in there. And then I kind of want to say that at any time, there's almost perpetually four guards in there. Because then we can actually say, you know, lower the deployment number and go for uh, just one. So there's five guards going to be in there, but there can be so many prisoners in there at any one time that that, I mean, that, that seems kind of necessary. It just means that it's going to be doubly secure. It means it's going to be something that, you know, the prisoners can't use as a means to uh, cause a whole bunch of trouble. I also don't know where all this dirt's coming from. I really don't. It seems like they're not using the bathrooms. What did you do? Go into solitary, find weapons. Oh, you don't want to have weapons on you there, bud. You really don't want to do that. That is just not going to end well. I'm also thinking with how dirty the prison is right now, we might need more janitors. So let's go up to 30 of them. Go to 30 janitors there. In fact, you know what? Go to 40. Go to 50. 50 janitors to help keep the place nice and clean. We'll go up to 30 gardeners. And uh, I'm going to throw another sniper in here just because I can. I know I just got $50,000, but I just, I really want to make sure the place is clean. Really, really want to make sure the place is kept clean. Now, let's see. How much are we looking at in terms of exports here? We're pretty much filling the entire thing up. So let's do that. Prioritize that. Move all of the logs over for export. Let's start getting the, uh, oh my god. Let's start getting the money going. That is, that is, that is dumb. That's so dumb, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, no one's actually working in the workshop right now, to my knowledge. But I realize 
Even if they were, I wouldn't know. Uh, let's throw... Let's throw some guards in there. Just to be sure. Because we're going to want to make sure that, uh... I mean, there's going to be prisoners coming down here to clean, right? Oh, apparently some of them have been working. Okay. So maybe we do have some prisoners that can actually work in here. I mean, there's, uh, some stacks of wood. That can be... Excuse me, what are you doing? Yeah, this guy's working. Not sure what he's working on, but... He's working. Where are you going, bud? I've got no idea. He's cleaning, okay. Well, that's fine. This guy... I mean, the foreman was... Was teaching. I think the foreman has so far to go that he doesn't actually get there in time to teach. I realize he has to come in from, uh, he has to come in from here. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Where do you work? What are you doing outside the prison, Adam Evans? Why do we have prisoners outside? Um, right. Okay. That's worrying. Can I go to deplo deployment and say staff only? Because there really should not be prisoners outside of the prison. That's staff only as well. That's staff only. Right. Staff only as well. So that will hopefully... Oh my god, the exports. That will hopefully... Stop prisoners from running around here. What are you doing? Why are they wandering around? What is going on with that?